Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video for you and this is one again for my Hey Little Magpie blog post. I will leave the link below so you can see the other layouts that I created and this month I was using the um, 6x6 paper pans from the Project Life collection and for this one I'm going to be using the confetti um, 6x6 pad which is, has real, really, really great bold colours in. Um, I wanted to scrap these four pictures these pictures are I think they're about three and a half by three and a half um, and I have just mounted those on black cardstock it's the same black cardstock that I'm using for the background I've just got that out the back and that is the my mind's eye um, niche cardstock um, and those um, cardstock packs come like with metallic ones and like some just normal kind of textured and then some kind of plain ones so they're quite a good set and I've um, sort of you know, really love black art, but you can never go wrong with black um, border for your layout. And I'm using a piece of Bella Boulevard for the background because um, it's, I think it's called Geek, Geek Chic, this um, paper. And basically I wanted to document um, my new glasses that I brought. I had three new pairs of glasses and um, I also got some contact lenses. So um, that is going to kind of be the theme of this layout. So I've just taken um, those photos and said mount them on the black cardstock and then I've just used a little bit of the red offcut here and again that is from the confetti collection and I'm going to kind of space these out over the layout. Um, again I'm kind of going more and more to this kind of disconnected look at the moment um, but I kind of quite like it and I'm going to put my title kind of throughout this layout so that's going to help connect the pictures in a way. So I'm just putting that little bit of um, red at the side to kind of help create a little bit of layering. Um, I'm not going to be doing too much layering on here um, as said because I want to keep it quite simple. Um, there's going to be um, a little cluster of embellishments um, with each photo but as I said I'm going to try and keep it um, quite simple and I'm kind of going more and more for that at the moment. Um, I'm sure I will you know <laughs> I will go out of that phase. Um, as you'll see from the last um, video I done, which was an eight and a half by eleven one, um, that was kind of very uh, muted tones and kind of quite, um, quite fussy. But yeah, so I just kind of you know it's a bit of a change. So these labels and cameras are cut from the um, completely forgot what it's called six by six pad. Um, the labels actually come from the high five um, collection, as do the cameras. So. Actually, yeah, so it was the High Five collection I used for this one, not the um, confetti. So, um, it's just going to work really well. So, those little labels are red, so they're going to pull in great um, in this layout. And I, ju I just love the little pink cameras. They are so sweet. So, I'm just taking this piece of paper, and as I said, this is from the um, High Five. And I'm just going to create some little banners with this, just to extend those clusters out a little bit, and um, just to make it... You know a little bit more grounded because they're a little bit floaty so I'm just gonna ink everything up in black because I have got that strong black um, background then I just want to help everything tie together and as I said I really love those little cameras um, they're real great size for embellishments um, so I really you know cut those out and I said you get two sheets of each in those paper pads so I'm gonna have lots of those to use for embellishments so what I'm doing here is I'm just adding my flag and then the label that I cut out from one of the pieces of paper and then adding one of those Jen Hadfield um, glittery gold circles which I love and seems to be using on loads of things and never getting through them which is fab and so I'm just creating a little layer cluster there and I also have these really old um, wood veneers um, again they were from Studio no they were from Scraptastic I believe they probably came in and so they're just little pairs of glasses so I'm going to use those um, in three of the pictures the ones that are my glasses and of course the one with contact lenses it's not going to have little glasses in the embellishment but I happen to just have three three of those left um, in my pot of embellishments which I'm trying to work through because I have loads and loads of little pots of embellishments so I want to try and kind of get through some of my wood veneers so I'm going to making a mission to use them on more and more projects so I'm just, um, you know, quite simply building up my clusters there. Um, because there isn't going to be glasses on that bottom one, I have just used a little um, black heart. And this is one that I had just die cut out on, was sitting on my desk. So that got stuck on. I thought, hey, might as well use it up. 
So I'm just going to mount um, that up on the frame because as I said this was a really quick layout. This layout took me about 35 minutes if that. So it was quite a little quick one. And I'm just going to use my wet glue to stick down those wood veneers and they hold absolutely fine. And I said I, I really really love those little specks. I'm going to add a little bit of misting and um, not too much but I wanted to just add that over the embellishment so I'm just covering my photo up and using my bubblegum pink just to mist over there and you can't really see it on this video but you can see it in the close up and it just adds that little bit of detail but I didn't want it too too much so I believe I'm now currently looking for thickers I think and thinking about where I'm going to place my title um, I'm just going through some other kind of embellishments and bits here see if I'm going to add any of those on I've got lots of bits and pieces like hanging around on my desk so um, I was just kind of pulling bits and pieces out and seeing if these are actually all from the I Am collection um, I was just going to see if any of those would work on here and I don't end up putting any of those on but I do pull out these um, Simple Stories Life Documenter stickers and in these you get um, black on white and white black on cream um, which are really great because they'll mix with kind of any um, papers out there and so I'm just going to pull four of these off that kind of match with the tone of the photos and I'm going to add those to my cluster I do love these little word strips um, I use them on lots and lots of different projects and I'm just going to use it to extend that little cluster over a little bit and I think it's just going to make the whole thing kind of pop and I really like how that looks so I believe now I'm going to start thinking about my thickers and I have these ones which are a white or sort of a off white with a black polka dot I use them on the last layout as well um, but of course they're not really going to stand out against this black and white background so I am actually going to just take my spectrum noir pens and colour those in of course you can use any alcohol marker but um, they are the ones I had and I've got kind of a couple of packs of these so I was able to find enough of each letter um, I do need to kind of have a little bit of a not a spend up but I think I need to get a few new packs of thickers because and the ones that I have got are now kind of starting to be a little bit more limited um, on like I'm running out of E's and N's and things like that so um, I'm probably gonna have to be looking out for some bargain thickers out there soon these ones um, I, I brought from TK Maxx um, a long long time ago sometime even even one or two years ago they kind of had like manic bargains where you got kind of like six packs for four quid so um you know i did did stock up then so that is why i've got um repeats as well which is good when it comes to ease and things like that so i'm just using my wet glue to stick these down because these are chipboard thickers which are renowned on being a little bit poop um, I am then just taking a um, asterisk from each of those um, for each of those clusters as well. Um, but again, they're going to get lost, so I am going to colour those in. I'm just testing the marker there, the two colours I picked out, just checking how they look. And I'm going to colour those asterisks in first. And I said I really like how that looks. And I said it really just kind of you know completely changes the look of those, and it makes them really versatile. Um, I've also coloured um, them in as well before with like Sharpie and stuff if I just want black. I've done that on the edge of, um, on the spine of one of my albums as well because I'd kind of run out of the black font. And then just pull out, um, again these were on my desk, these are some like little enamel dots but these are kind of more of a matte enamel dot let's say. Um, so I'm just going to stick a red one of those in each cluster. And that is it. So I, I did. I spared you my colouring in those. And so this is it. I want to thank you all you guys for watching. And I'll be back soon. Thanks very much. Bye.